Hi guys, today I have a collective haul to share and this is random stuff. I went with my mom and my sister to do some after Christmas shopping with our Christmas money and gift cards and such. So we went to a couple of stores and this is going to be a collective haul of different types of things. So I went to Walmart and I didn't get too many things um, crafty related. The only things I got that were crafty related were these stickers right here because I just have a lot of Christmas stuff that I got last year and since this year I didn't make any Christmas cards I still have all of that so I really didn't want to get too much holiday Christmassy type crafty things but I did get these stickers they were 50% off I believe they were 97 cents and then half off I think so so I found these and I thought they were really cute so I picked those up and I got these two and those are kind of like a holographic type sticker and I got two of those and then this glittery one so those were sticko stickers and then I got this one And this one was 97 cents and 50% off. And then I got two of these and these were also 50% off. Oh, it's all blurry. There we go. So these are like puffy stickers. There's candy canes and the gingerbread men and all that and the little candy. So I got two of those. Okay, so on to the other stores that we went to. We also went to Old Navy, but I won't show that because those were just clothes and such and they're hard to share. But they were having a pretty good sale. A lot of their um, shirts and pants were either 60 or 70% off and then their clearance was an extra 40% off. So it was a pretty good deal, but that I won't share. We went to Five Below and it was my first time going to a Five Below and I just got two things. I wasn't too impressed with them. Um, I thought they were kind of pricey for what it was. Um, but I did get a poster. And the posters were a good price. They were $5. And usually posters range from $6 and up. So I did get one poster. And they had a good selection. They even had like Doctor Who posters and just different ones. I got this one. And of course you can't see it so I will put a picture here so you can see it okay so that was the poster and it is the Harry Potter Hogwarts map so I thought that was a good price it was five dollars so I just got this to put in my room and I also just got this and this was normally $3, and since it was Christmas related, it was on 50% off, so it was $1.50, and it just brings some gum inside. <clears throat> so it was alright, I had never been to one, but I wouldn't go out of my way to go there. Um, like I said, what I saw the best was the posters, um, they had a few stickers, but they were $2 each, and they weren't really that special, so yeah. I won't be going too often there. Then we went to, let's see, Barnes & Noble. So Barnes & Noble, I got two books. And I love the Barnes & Noble collectible books. They are leather, and they look like this. And I usually get anywhere from two to four a year. And I only get them when they're buy one, get one 50% off, and when I can get an extra coupon. But I love these books because I am a traditional type reader and I just love reading like actual books. I haven't gotten into the trend of audio, audio books and what is it? Ebooks. Yeah, I like the regular books. So I got this one and I had been wanting this. And this they come in three different forms. It's the, they either come in R2D2 or Darth Vader or C-3PO so I got this one 
and I just love these books. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, and with these two, it'll be nine. So, got this. Here's the back. And they're really nice leather bound books. Here's the inside, and it has like a ribbon divider. I can find it. Oh, of course, no, I can't place it here. Here it is. So here it has a ribbon divider. So here's the front, and then here's the back. And then it brings this little poster. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> the, it brings a poster. This is a collectible poster. I haven't opened it yet. It's just a small poster. And I'm just excited to read it because I love the Star Wars movies and I'm hoping maybe the book is better because usually it is. So we'll see. So I got that. And here's the book. And they were buy one get one 50% off on in the store because online they were not buy one get one 50% off. So I got that one. And then another one that I had wanted was this one. And this one I was waiting to get the Christmas money to be able to purchase it and once I did get it it was out of stock online so I was glad to see it in the store and this is the Snow Queen and Other Winter Tales and it's really pretty too it's a leather bound cover and then the snowflakes are like holographic type metallic -y finish so here's what that looks like and here's the side and here's the back and then here's the actual book. See, and it has like the silver leafing on the side. This one has gold. So then here's the book. And it just has different short stories. Winter-y type short stories. So it has lots of different ones there. And this is a new one for this year. So I'm excited to read that. So that's what I got at Barnes & Noble. And let's see if I can push this aside. I We went to Goodwill as well. So yeah, we went to a bunch of different types of stores. But we went to Goodwill. And the Goodwill had the paperback books for $0.49, cents, the hardcover books for $0.99, cents, and then the DVDs for $0.49 cents each. So I got... This movie, because I have heard good things about this. I haven't seen it. But for 49 cents, I picked it up to watch it. And there it is. So, Mixed Nuts with Steve Martin. I got that for 49 cents. Then I found Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This one, they charged me 99 cents because they brought two two DVDs. So, one's the movie and the other one has special features. That was alright, a Harry Potter movie for 99 cents. So this is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Then I got two books there. And this one was 49 cents because it is paperback. And this is Drowning Ruth by Christina Schwartz. And it sounded interesting, so I picked it up to read it. We'll see how good that one is. And then this one was 99 cents because it was a hardcover. And this is Theodosia and the Eyes of Horus. So that looked interesting. They give it good reviews on Amazon, so we'll see how good that is. So I have a lot of reading to do. Then we went to Bath and Body Works. So at Bath and Body Works, they're having their semi annual sale. So. This is when I usually stock up on the shower gels and hand washes and such. I still have a lot of hand washes left from summer, so I only got one of those. So here's the one that I got. It's the Island Pink Pomelo, and this smelled really good. So we got one of these, and this was, I think, $3? I believe that's what it was. So I got that. Then... The Napa Valley Sunset. Some of these, I think two of them, 
were 350 and then the other ones were 70% off so they came out to 313 so I got Napa Valley Sunset this one beautiful day and this smells really good and it's just sparkling ice and fresh peonies sun kiss sugar jingle all the way and merry berry christmas so i got those and then i got this spray and this i believe i'm not sure i'll put the price on the screen because i don't remember right now i think this might have been three to four dollars not sure but this smells really good just to put put on after I take a shower so I just pick that up so I think that is it for my after Christmas haul and yeah it's kind of random different types of things but I hope you enjoyed watching it and thanks everyone for watching and hope you all have a happy new year bye <music>